Gems. Welcome back to my channel. Today I got a post review on my Lizzie Falcon um, Corella that I did. Um, she turned out really, really beautiful, obviously. It's a Lizzie Falcon. Ah! They always turn out very, very nice. Anyway, I tried to put sparkles in her eyes, but I think it made her eye look too light. I'm not sure if I'm liking that too much. Um, I put, I tried to put a little bit of sparkle where the U's were in her hair. I thought there would be more, but there really wasn't. So it just kind of looks like she's got an enhanced patch right there. I don't know. I put some in, sparkles in her lips and then a little bit in her dress, not too much because the colors mainly call for dark reds, which I did not have any spark, like crystals for that. Not sparklers so much, crystals. I used crystals on this one. I had plenty of drills, even though Luna spilt like four of my containers and I made Sarah clean it all up. And she did a pretty good job. Um, one that she spilt that was the 666, but I ended up using the crystals for the 666, so I didn't really care about that one. So that one was like a hot mess in other containers, but I managed to get it done, and I managed to, um, if the colors were wrong, they don't look wrong in the picture, you know what I'm saying? So, um, she turned out beautiful. I'm going to hang her up because... Like, I don't know if it's the way I work on these paintings, but when you rub your fingers along this, you feel it's not popping, okay? When you can tell when there's popping drills. Oh, shoot, I just messed that up, didn't I? They fall off of this canvas, and I don't know why this is happening to me, but I feel like every time I do, the Treasure Studio Arts, they pop on me. But it's not because they're popping, per se. Is that an extra one? Or did I just kill that one? I killed that one as well. See, some of them are coming off, and I don't know if it's because I'm not pressing hard enough when I'm lying them down. But they're not, they're not popping. I find with Treasure Studio Arts, how I'm, I have to, lay, I can't multi-place when it comes to square because as soon as I multi-place, I don't know if it's the gapping or what, I end up overlapping and then that causes popping. And you gotta understand too, some people think their paintings are popping, but really it's because they're overlapping. You know, sometimes it's hard when you don't have a grid underneath to see where they're placing. I know a lot of people don't like the grid and that is why all these diamond painting companies are taking them off, but sometimes it helps with multi-placing. And um, that is why you don't see me multi-place too much on these canvases from Treasure Studio Arts when I'm doing a square. Now a round is a total different story, but square, I find that I overplace and then it starts to pop. The black on this painting was terrible, but I managed to make it work because you see there is a lot of black in this painting. The black gems were terrible, but as you can see, they still turned out amazing. I picked through them. Um, but yeah, overall, I enjoy this canvas so much. It's one of my favorites. Um, I wanted to buy this so bad with a passion as soon as it came out. And see, look right here, this is my fault. I bet you that's not even, 
because that looks out of place. I bet you it's supposed to be a black. Sometimes, no, oh, it says it's a P. Never mind, Liz, you're correct. <laughs> sometimes I think I put stuff in the wrong places, but I find with Treasure Studio Art, sometimes there's one odd drill somewhere that shouldn't be. It's really weird. I don't know if it's her signature or what. But as you can see, it turned out amazing. And I really, really enjoyed it. And I'm really glad I purchased this one from Treasure Studio Arts. Um, I know other people may did this one as well. And I hope they enjoy it as much as I do. Because I really enjoy this one. But this is my finished project. I finished before the end. It is July 20. 7th so I finished on July 27th and I started June 1st so as you can see what is that you know I'm finding I can't see I don't know what I see here I see lots of things that I shouldn't see <laughs> but anyway so I'm going to hang this up so it doesn't get ruined. And yeah, that is my, see, should that be there? Like sometimes I wonder with my placing. Um, I'm gonna buy a frame for this. I was thinking about sealing it, but you know what? I don't wanna dull the sparkle of the Treasure Studio Arts drills because they are very sparkly. And um, I'm just going to hang it up where nobody can touch it and hopefully the gems stay on. With that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I hope you enjoyed this post review. And I hope you guys enjoyed the Lizzie along. I had fun. I know that me, Billy and Tia did not collab too much together because of our lives are so busy right now. Billy has a new job, a new house and everything's been busy for him and my life, it's summertime. I'm thinking this um, collab should be moved to the winter where um, we have more time to um, focus on um, the creativity of this project. Um, yeah, if you haven't checked out July 23rd's video. It was a Saturday. Uh, Lizzie Falcon was on with us so we played a game and it was fun and she totally won because she's awesome. So if you haven't checked that out, go check it out. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this post review and I can't wait to start my next Lizzie. Yeah. Till next time, take care everyone. Bye. Well, folks, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like, please subscribe to my channel. I be super tickle pink. And remember to hit that notification bell and it will remind you whenever I load up a video. And till next time, take care everyone. Bye.